All right, this is gonna be cold start video on my uh, 2021 LM2 three liter Duramax. It's about minus 25 degrees Celsius. It's Canada ground. Let's see how it starts. Not plugged in. Nothing to her. Starts better than my uncle's 62 diesel, I'll tell you that right now. No clatter or nothing. Oil pressure looks good. I'm gonna let it warm up for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back out and we'll see where it's at for temperature and then I'll give it another 10 minutes after that and see where it's at for temp. 10 minutes later now you can see the temperature has just come off the 75 and it's blowing lukewarm air not warm air though engine coolant temp 1 is at 75 degrees Fahrenheit engine coolant temp 2 is at 102 degrees Fahrenheit engine coolant temp is at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and engine oil temp is at 37 degrees Fahrenheit I actually don't know where each of these sensors are located or if the engine coolant temp is the same as engine coolant temp 1, but it's interesting to see engine coolant temp 2 is actually a little bit warmer. I'm guessing that one's more onto the engine block, whereas the other one's probably near the thermostats. So I'll come back in 10 minutes and check it again. Alright, so here's after 20 minutes of idling. The truck actually did shut off on me, so I had to turn it back on. It's got that 20 minute no idle timer, which is stupid, but whatever. So now we got engine cool temps at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and ECT2 is at 120. Uh, so you gotta remember it's got that variable cooling system where it diverts the coolant where it needs to be to warm up faster or where it's more important. So I'm thinking that's what ECT2 is, that's probably near the block and ECT1 is probably near the thermostats or in a water cross or water neck or something like that. I'm not sure, but if you know, let me know down in the comments. Engine oil temps at 73 degrees, 73 degrees Fahrenheit after 20 minutes of idling in minus 25 degrees Celsius. And transmission temp is at 14 degrees Celsius now. Uh, on the gauge, the coolant temp still hasn't really come off the gauge yet. So yeah, there's 20 minutes of idle time, cold start, minus 25 degrees Celsius. Looks like it's uh, got some ambient temp off the rod there showing minus 21 on the display. Had a bit of a wind chill too today. We were down to minus 37 with the wind chill. Um, but it's the wind has calmed down now, so it's not too bad. So here's after about five minutes of driving down the highway um, at about 100 kilometers per hour. I've got 183 degrees on the engine coolant temp, and then I've got 217 degrees uh, Fahrenheit on engine coolant temp two. So it seems like engine coolant temp two always stays a little bit higher than engine coolant temp one. Uh, also, after about five minutes of driving down the highway, I've got an oil, engine oil temperature at 172 degrees Fahrenheit, and I've got transmission fluid at 29 degrees Celsius. I do not know the conversion, so yeah, I can look that up later. So there, doesn't take very long. Definitely, you know, a good 10 minute idle time is probably enough. And then once you get on the road for about five minutes, this thing will already be up to temp. Uh, another thing to note is that these things have the automatic winter front, the shutters and the radiator. So putting a winter front on it really doesn't do anything because the rad automatically closes itself off. And that's why it warms up so quickly when you're going down the road. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like. Subscribe if you want to see some more of this truck or, you know, the Duramax Camaro, which you also can find on the channel. And thanks for watching.